Imagine if there was a tool just like Midjourney, but instead of a small team, it's open sourced and it can actually draw AI generated text. How cool would that be? Not only that that tool is here, but it can actually do wonders for your business. Nearly a year ago, the world witnessed a remarkable surge in artificial intelligence with the introduction of DALI, an innovative text image tool developed by OpenAI, the same company responsible for ChatGPT. This groundbreaking tool got global attention as one of the pioneering text image solutions, despite its less than impressive visual output. Just a few months later, Midjourney and several other tools emerged offering realistic images and gaining rapid popularity as a free alternative in the same space. Many, many models later, all of them struggled with one problem, and that is, you probably guessed it, text. Until a few weeks ago, the company Stability AI, which is also the creator of the Stable Diffusion model, did not publicly release the model called Deep Floyd If. And let me read to you an official explanation from Stability AI on what Deep Floyd If actually is. Deep Floyd If is a novel state-of-the-art open source text image model with a high degree of photorealism and language understanding. The rest of the text is of a technical nature, so I won't bother you with it. The most important thing is that we can soon expect models that will generate exactly what we want, either with or without text. So let me show you some differences between the currently most popular text image tools, such as Stable Diffusion 2.1, Imagine, Muse, Ediv, Nvidia, Dali, Party, and others. It's already pretty competitive, right? As I always try to access the tool in a way that you can try the tool yourself, instead of installing it on your own server or desktop, I used Hugging Face to test this new tool. There are a few ways to run this on your computer as a Discord bot similar to Midjourney, or most likely the easiest way, HuggingFace.com. You simply go to HuggingFace.com and then into Spaces and then in Deep Floyd If. Also, the link can be found down in the description. Hugging Face is an AI community where you can do a lot of AI-related things, but in this context, you can preview and play with new models without the need to install them on your computer, which requires both technical skills and time. I went on and played with it for a bit and I tried out how the Joker would look like in purple while holding a no Joker sign with a simple prompt, image of a purple Joker holding a text sign, no Joker, taken with Sony camera. Then how Batman would look like if he had a Ukrainian flag for his cape with a prompt, Batman wearing Ukrainian flag as a cape, then Elon Musk holding a Deep Floyd sign and lastly a horror scream movie with a prompt, scream poster for new horror movie titled Scream. Now that we've shown what this relatively new tool can do, and as promised at the beginning, let's apply to some freelancer.com projects to show you how you can apply to dozens of different projects in no time at all using only this text image tool. The client on Freelancer created a project asking us to design a logo with the following text. Logo design in illustrative style for his children birthday party company named Belt and Birthdays. In the Deep Floyd prompt, we entered logo for children's birthday party hire company named Belt and Birthdays. And this text we copied directly from the description. And here are my results. Let's look at a few more examples. This client asks us to design a logo for company dealing with GPS or GNS systems. The client also wants the text Genius in this exact form. As a prompt, we entered vector logo for global navigation satellite system company and text Genius. You can see that the font size is still not correctly recognized by this AI model, but it's nothing we can fix in just a minute, just like we did with the previous one. We also created a logo for the sport medicine clinic from North Bay. First, I googled North Bay to see if there was any motive and I found the beaver. After that, in Deep Floyd, I typed Beaver logo for sport medicine clinic with text North Bay Sport Medicine. Although it was not what I expected to get, the results were not completely to be thrown away, but I still decided to take the classic cross in the combination of white and black and text instead of the beaver. Therefore, this time I typed logo of white cross in metallic red and square and text North Bay Sport Medicine on the side. And I got much better results, right? Additionally, I created two more redesigns of existing logos and this has completely blown my mind because it was literally done in seconds. What if the Levy brand would need redesign in shape and color? And what about the orange logo with text in the center? 
All in all, I must say that I'm super excited about these new breakthroughs happening in the field. And my prediction is that by the end of this year, and especially by end of next summer, we are going to witness some things that looked completely unimaginable just a while back. For me personally, Midjourney is still one of the most advanced text image tools for super realistic images, but once Stable Diffusion adds this model's feature to their model, I believe that it will be more than competitive with Midjourney precisely because of the ability to add text. It just remains to be seen how will Midjourney react to this when it releases Midjourney 6 later this month or in Midjourney 7, which will most likely arrive later this summer. I hope this helped and see you in the next one.